Welcome back to MPT. In today's video, I'm going to describe the essential information you need to know about phased arrays for satellite communications. I'm going to start with a description of early satellite communication systems, then describe modern phased arrays used for SATCOM. Be sure to watch to the end, then download my white paper link below. It provides important information on phased arrays for SATCOM. Get your product to market faster with a custom phased array solution from MPT Corp. Now let's begin discussing the history of satellite communications. The world's first spacecraft successfully placed in orbit around the Earth was Sputnik 1, launched by the former Soviet Union on October 4, 1957. And about three months later, the United States launched the Explorer 1 satellite. Commercial satellite communications started on April 6, 1965, with the launch of Intelsat 1 satellite. It was nicknamed Early Bird and was developed by Hughes Aircraft Company, which is now Boeing. The satellite weighed 85 pounds and can provide 240 two-way phone calls between Europe and North America. Now let's discuss user terminals. In the early days of satellite communications, user terminals had large antennas to establish reliable communications with the satellite. These antennas were 6 to 10 feet in diameter or larger. This size antenna was required to achieve connection to the satellite. However, in the early 1990s, a system was developed with new satellites capable of delivering television signals to small user terminals. Using this technology, Hughes started DirecTV Company and it used relatively small antennas for the user terminals. Within a few years, satellite TV user terminals were commonplace around the world. These terminals communicate with a single satellite that's in geostationary or geo-orbit, which means that the satellite antenna is bolted in place and fixed to a, a point in space. This brings us to present day satellite communications. Modern user terminals that provide satellite connectivity must now support communication with satellites that are in low Earth orbit, also called LEO. This means that the antenna beam must move either mechanically or electronically to track the satellite. This is different than geosatellite antennas, such as satellite TV antennas, which were already described. For geo, the user terminal antenna is fixed pointed. For LEO, the user terminal must scan its beam and this can be accomplished either mechanically or electronically. Mechanically scanned antennas are re less reliable than electronically scanned antennas, since moving parts tend to fail sooner than properly designed electronics. MPT has tracking satellite phase array products, and MPT has successfully demonstrated and used them to track LEO satellites and communicate with LEO satellites. In fact, the system has two simultaneous antenna beams that can establish communication with the satellite. This also means that the satellite can simultaneously communicate with a LEO or a GEO or with UAVs or aircraft. MBT also has SATCOM on the move solutions. These antennas provide phased array connectivity to LEO satellites or the antenna can be connected to a moving vehicle, which maintains communication with a geosatellite. Either way, the phased array ground terminal remains locked on the satellite. An important key to the MPT success in phased arrays is its proprietary array blocks technology. It supports satellite phased arrays in X, K, U, K, and K, A band. Array blocks are used to scale the phased array to meet specific customer requirements. For instance, if a particular G over T is needed, then array blocks are combined by MPT to achieve that specification. Also, if a specific EIRP is required, array blocks are combined to achieve it. The customer has shipped a system with multiple array blocks to meet their specifications. 
In other words, array blocks allow for a modular solution, which makes our arrays more affordable. Thank you for watching. Now, download the accompanying white paper I've linked below. It provides critically important information on phased arrays for SATCOM systems, such as system descriptions, block diagrams, and details on array block technology. If you have further questions about SATCOM phased arrays or to start your own phased array development process with the experts here at MPT, visit our website to get started. Until next time, this is Rick Sturdivant with MPT.